with Sebastian as a child? Quiet. Well, Sebastian is a very creative kid, so he drew and he, he was kind of like a master Lego builder. Sebastian and I have been dating for our seventh year. This will be our seventh year. Whenever I need anything, he's always there. So he's reliable. So my family's pretty crazy. I really love my mom. My dad, he's like a super intense guy. Being the oldest, there's a little bit more pressure. Like I feel like I get a lot more pressure from my parents to do things right, because I do have my younger brothers watching me. I work part-time at John's Grimble Pizza. He's actually um, gotten to the position of a team lead, which is a certified trainer, but in our store it's also being a leader. And I am studying civil engineering. Um, I'm looking to become a structural engineer where I'll be designing buildings and bridges. It was New Year's, um, New Year's Day. I was really tired, didn't get a lot of sleep that day. Getting ready for work, average day. Um, You know, I asked my boss, you know, hey, um, I'm not too feeling too well. I'm really tired. Can I go home? I got in the car, my parents' big old Ford Expedition. And yeah, I was a little tired, but I felt it was manageable. I remember telling myself at one point, you know, like, pull over. Like, you, you need to pull over. But as I got closer and closer to home, I just felt like I could make it there because you know, I've driven sleepy before, made it fine. I just closed my eyes for what felt like just a few seconds. And I opened them and I was in the intersection. And then I collided with another car. My initial thought was like, oh my God, like what just happened? He said, you're a guy into a car accident and there was another person, and I don't know if she's, she's gonna make it. I remember the ambulance coming up, the fire truck and that whole deal. And they had to you know, bring the jaws of life to pull Sydney out of the car. They pulled her, they pulled her out of the car. And I just see her body hoping that she's still alive. I remember the seeing the the two paramedics that were helping her hug each other. And that's when I knew that I had killed someone. You know, you hear about accidents and emergencies and tragedies on TV, and you say, that's not gonna happen to me. But here it was, it was happening and it was real. You know, for the day or two after, he was just so in shock, just trying to absorb it. He didn't wanna get up. He, he was kind of laying in his bed, like in a fetal position. And, you know, he didn't wanna make eye contact and definitely didn't wanna talk about it. Sometimes there's stuff that he's going through that I know is hard for him to talk to me about. Knowing that he'd have to blame himself every day for killing someone. Sebastian is not a bad kid. He is a good kid who made good choices up until the point where he decided to drive drowsy. Um, and that decision cost the life of somebody else, made an incredible loss for another family and changed Sebastian's life forever. I don't really drive anymore. I pretty much bike wherever I need to go, and my girlfriend helps me out. I think Sebastian has chosen to share his story because he can't undo what's happened, but he can still make a difference. And from what we've been told and heard about Sydney Weekly, she was a forgiving person and a giving person, 
and wanted to be a person that made a difference. If the situation was reversed, I can only understand the parents' pain. My kids are everything to me, everything. And the love that parents for Sydney, I know every, it was everything to, she was everything to them. Prior to the crash, I didn't see sleepy or drowsy driving as a distraction. Uh, Sydney's death was definitely preventable. I can honor Sydney's parents and their wishes because they had asked me that my message gets across to other people. So the next time that they ever think about just a tiny distraction, whether it's picking up your phone or changing a song, or in my case, if you're feeling just a bit drowsy, to just pull over, you know, stretch, take a breather. It is such a great service that people like Sebastian do to educate us, to warn us. It's important for your family, it's important for my family, it's important for everybody who's out on the roadway. If you need to take a nap, take a short 10 minute nap, that's okay. <laughs> You're gonna get where you need to go eventually. I'll never forget Sydney. I actually got a tattoo on my arm in a place that I can see it to remind me that I'm not just living for myself, but I'm living in her name too.